Okay, so in this video, let's just uh, see how we can solve this question. So this question is under Newton's laws of motion. So here is the question. The question is saying a clet of weight Fg is pushed by a force P on a horizontal flow as shown in the figure below. The coefficient of static friction is, uh, is supposed to be mu s, okay, it's mu s, and uh, P is directed at an angle uh, theta is supposed to be theta below the horizontal. Okay, part A is saying uh, show that the minimum value of P that will move the clet is given by, so it's given by this formula. So we want to show that uh, this P is going to be given by this formula. Okay, so as we can see, we have got uh, the diagram here. Okay, so this diagram we have been told that uh, there is static uh, friction, meaning this object is not moving. Okay, so we know that whenever we have static friction, meaning the object is not moving. So, if the object is not moving, meaning we can say that the summation of all the forces in x direction, when we add them, they're supposed to give us zero. So, what forces do we have? We have um, this P is applied at an angle. So, as we can see, we need to get the horizontal one. Okay, so we need to get this component. So, we're going to have uh, the y component and the x component. So, we have the px is the one which we want and we're going to have the py okay so this theta is making z here so it's making this this theta and this one is the same so that theta is the one which we're going to have in even there so we're going to have px we're going to have px minus this is going to be fk it's going to be equal to zero so px is going to be equal to fk so px according to this is we, we can see that it's going to be p cos theta is going to be equal to um, the friction force is mu times the normal force okay so now we have this one so what we have here is um, uh, we can see that the normal force for us to find the normal force the normal force we are going to have the weight of this we have been told that the weight is fg okay so we are going to have the normal force which is directed upward but we still have another component so we are going to say that the summation of all the forces in y direction when we add them they're supposed to give us zero so we have got the normal force minus there is py which is directed downward so we are going to have py again minus e, fg fg is the weight force so we're going to have the normal force it's going to be equal to zero the normal force is going to be equal to the py plus uh, fg okay so let's just relate this here we have our p cos theta is equal to mu s times the normal force okay so we can get rid of this and then we can see that the normal force is going to be equal to py is p sine theta plus the fg okay so we are going to replace this with where there is the normal force in this equation okay so what we are going to have now is um, in this equation where there is uh, so we have p p cos theta is going to be equal to mu where there is normal force we are going to put p sin theta plus fg okay so we can get rid of this now we no longer need this now from there we can see that uh, this is going to be p cos theta is going to be equal to, we can distribute the mu, mu s times p sin theta plus mu s, then you have fg. So we can shift this to the other side, okay? So it's going to be p cos theta minus the mu s, p sin theta is going to be equal to mu s, fg. Okay, so now we can factor out p, it's going to be p cos theta minus mu s sin theta has to be equal to mu s fg we can divide both sides by what is in the brackets there okay so this is going to give us um we divide both sides so these they are going to cancel we're going to remain with p is going to be equal to the mu s fg everything divided by um divided by cos theta minus mu s P, oh, we have sine theta. Okay. We have sine theta. Now, from here, we can see that 
what we have down there is um we can fact out because uh we are trying to come up with this formula okay so we can factor out cost down there so we're going to have p is going to be equal to mu s fg let's factor out cost so of course theta is going to be then here we're going to mean with one minus the mu s now to factor out this one we're going to have sine theta divided by cos theta so that when i do times when i distribute the cost i'm supposed to go back to this okay so that is what we're having so now from here we can say that this is the same as uh, is the same as we have this this is the same as we have p is going to be equal to 1 divided by cos theta okay times mu s fg and then we have here we have 1 minus mu so we know that mu s we know that sin theta divided by cos theta is tan theta Okay, so from here we can now see that this formula is going to be the same as 1 divided by um, cos theta is going to give us um, sec theta. So we can say that this is going to be mu s fg uh, sec theta. Okay. Then everything divided by 1 mu s tan theta. So as we can see now from here, we can see that this formula is the same as that one. So this is how we can show that uh, the force P is given by mu S FG sec theta divided by 1 minus mu S tan theta. Okay.